Hello gorgeous people, it's Dasha Dave here. Um, I'm back for another video. Now I have recently just finished um, uh, my previous video with the Janie B stuff. So Janie B um, journals from Etsy and I thought I'd cut out, so I've spent some time fussy cutting. I know, uh, uh, just bear with me. I know, I, yeah, I am, I pinch myself, I am real. I act I have cut out fussy cutting. Me. Me. I know. I can't believe it myself either. I spent time actually cutting things out. So I've also cut out some things. These these are from Shabby Dabby Doodah, these ones. Um and I've spent time cutting those out because I thought they might go with these. These are from um Janie B Journals. Um that's a Shabby Dabby Doodah one. Um so I thought, well, let's make some you know, some things. Let's do some, sorry, advertising my Morrison's uh, card there. Um, no points on that, so um, so literally no point to it, so I'm using it today. So I thought what I'd do is I'd do some of this, but I'd do a bit of a fusion thing with my, uh, you know how I like to use my um, words? No, napkins. So I thought I'd do a bit of a fusion thing with that, so um, let's, without further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? So I've cut these out, and these are the ones that, like, some... I just thought they'd go together, I liked them, um, and, you know... So, anyway, let's put some of these things together. Now, some of these I've only printed on paper, so they might need backing first before I do anything with those. So let's just put the ones that aren't backed. So those have been backed, so these have just had some coffee dyed paper put on the back that's a, another shabby dabby doodah one um that's been backed that's been backed that hasn't that has that hasn't that has that has that hasn't right okay let's start with the ones that have okay so um they just need like folding up and like shaping first okay so um so yes i thought well you know i'm i'm off work this week I can do what I like. I can do what I damn well please. And guess what? I'm doing what I damn well please. So yeah, I'm just folding these up. Now, you know, you could score these and like and do it like that, but I like to make sure I kind of get it right on the fold and then you don't see that black dotted line. So um really I really love these digitals, I have to say. I know that um you know, Jenny B journals sent them to me, but I absolutely love them, and I wouldn't say it if I didn't, because I'm not I'm not that type of person. I don't lie. I don't like people that lie either. So don't like people that lie either. <laughs> so let's just do that. Okay, so. See it, I can see it ever so slightly, so I might just pull it in a tiny tad and trying to get that. There we go, that should be better. Yeah, that's better. So, anyway, um, so nothing has changed since the last time I spoke to you. Oh, I'm on my fourth cup of tea, I think. Now, um, I, I've gone through this whole phase of I'm really weird like this. I, for a long time I was only exclusively drinking tea then I changed to exclusively drinking coffee and now I'm exclusive exclusively drinking tea again so I don't know what the heck that's all about so um when I say I'm exclusively drinking I mean I will have some coffee at some point because I do so that's one of the ones where you've got that nice exposed thing now I, uh, the cutting might not be the best but that's my cutting isn't it so that's my cutting for you um and it's one of those envelopes where you can have that little um you know little punch thing and she does she has given you a sheet of those little round things to cut out but um i'm doing it slightly different because i can and i will and i'm going to you can't stop me and you can't make me do otherwise because i'll have done it by the time you actually speak to me so um i'm just going to cut that bit of a black line off so you can't see it as much I think I'm going to fold it over like that. Let's again just cut that line a bit. I need to 
do it over a white piece and then you can't then you can see where the black line is when you're doing it over, cutting a black line over a black mat there is no contrast there we go I'm happy with, happier with that and that over there so where am I what am I doing where am I where am I what am I doing what am I doing I'm not using that Dave let's use some of this so I might just ink this up before I do any more just when I kind of take this I, I know you're not going to see in here but like I just want to kind of catch the edge if you know what I mean no wrong one ba, ba, ba. the smudge is true the smudge is true I know this smudge is true let like, see I've been singing that in my head because I smudged something earlier and like I was just singing <laughs> this smudge is true um sorry spandau ballet it's no no offense um but one of them things just goes through my head so basically i'm not worrying about this because you're not going to see it but i'm just catching this edge by doing this um and it makes it less raw yellow color and i want to catch this up here so um so let's get some of this take some of it off on the on the glass bit go around there just to make this look a little more aged than it is um i love this yellow pad of uh lined paper it's just you know it's literally just a very cheap lined paper pad from one of the i think it was from a bookstore oh no it's from wh smith um and i just really like it so I'm using it and you can't you can't make me do otherwise can you so as we've learned you can't make me do anything really so as anybody that's ever known has ever known me has learnt. so I want to just catch that round it'd be nice if I could actually get the glue to come out hello don't squeeze too hard Dave you've done that before and you've not learnt <laughs> yes I've squeezed it before really hard like that yeah that's not, that's not good is it um so anyway stick that down there um worcester and brian have gone out so worcester's taken brian out no brian's taken worcester out worcester hasn't taken brian out although you know to be fair the way that worcester sometimes pulls on his lead it might be the other way around so no um Worcester knows Brian as Uncle Brian, so Uncle Brian's taken Worcester out, so I know it's sad. I know. You know, anybody that's ever owned any animals will know what I mean. You just have these things, you know, your Uncle Brian and grandma is like your your parents and 'cause like they're at the part of your family and they're you know that's what happens, isn't it? So just going to make sure yeah that's fine just make sure you can i am all in camera i didn't check that um i'm going to have a cup of tea sorry well drink of my tea oh that's nice nice and refreshing so so yeah i'm gonna do this and i might just put some kind of napkin-y thing over the top so excuse me while i get my napkins oh no they're here so I've got a plan for the ones with the the oranges on. So I'm going to put some lemons on it. So I'll get that out for now. Um, let's see if there's anything that might. I'll put one of those flowers over. Um, or a bird. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. A bird. Can use a bird. Um, is that the same flowers? They are. Dave, they are the same flowers. So let's have a look in here. Mm, flowers, maybe. Are they too? Yeah, no, I don't like that with that. So, not those or those. That, no, not that. Okay, I think I might go for that. So, 
This much is true. This much is true. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I really quite like. I like the idea of having that over the top of there, but I don't know. Well, you know, the only way to find out what it's going to look like is to do it, isn't it, Dave? And guess what? Dave has moved his cellar tape, so he can't pull these things apart. Excuse me while I just reassemble. No, disassemble everything in this corner. I found found my big cellar tape. I'll have to use that. Bit of advertising. Um, product placement. It is actually real cellar tape. I know. Uh, get me biting it as well. Um, it is much thicker this cellar tape, so because it's actual cellar tape rather than off-brand cellar tape, as they call it, off-brand. Um, we would call it. I don't know whether we call it off-brand. I think we refer to it as being what is it? Um, own brand. So. You know, if, if if it's not the real brand, it's um, that shop's own brand of it. So I think I'm going to use that. So I think this has got water in it. Yes, it does. So I'm going to use this and just cut this out. So, you know, you've seen me do... Hang on. You know when I said I think it's got water in? I don't think it has. I think I'm telling a light. I think that one's got the water in. Yep, that one's definitely got water in. So this is just a water pen. In the same way that I would use a water pen, um, a water brush, but this is just a pen version. And you've seen me use this before if you've watched anything of mine before. Um, just in case you wondered what that noise was, Brian's just come back, so... Um, was he a good boy? He was. Yep, there you go. So he was a good boy. So Uncle Brian's happy. Just told them that, you know, you're known as Uncle Brian. So. <laughs> to all and sundry. <laughs> to, well, not to all and sundry. To Worcester, you know, you are. I don't know about to all and sundry. Do you, are you known to all and sundry as oh, Uncle Brian? <laughs> well, clearly, now that everybody knows. Well, yes. <laughs> now, well, that's true. They, you guys now know. You can, you can call him Uncle Brian. It's fine. Um... So I'm going to have that on there. I know it's weird and quirky, but this is why you watch me, because I'm a bit weird and I'm a bit quirky and I do things differently. And it'd be nice if I had the Mod Podge. Have you got it? You do indeed. He has the Mod Podge. There's not a lot in it. <laughs> do you have any Mod Podge with anything in? <laughs> Okay, just bear with me a minute, folks, while I get my brush sorted. Um, I'm going to get what there is. There's a tiny bit at the bottom here that might just be enough for what I want to use it for. Um, I could really do with something to do it on. Um, and no, this smudge is true. The smudge is true. Yeah, sorry folks, I'm singing that again. <laughs> kind of used to it now though, aren't you? <laughs> sorry? Is it, it is stuck in my head, but like I, I smudged something and I was singing it. So the smudge is true. So I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to cover it all because I think it just looks silly if it's just in one one bit because it, it gives a bit of a a different texture to it. So I'll kind of cover the whole thing, um, and then I'll put the put the napkin over the bit that I want to put it on. So I'm going to put that on there. Let's just tamp it down, and then I'm just going to go over it with the brush. And the reason why I go over the whole thing is because I'm going over the top of the napkin as well with this, with the watered down Mod Podge, and then that way, then you get the same texture across the whole thing so put that on there and that will obviously do we just need to leave that to dry I mean I can speed it up and, and dry it with a, a heat gun but I'm going to leave it to to a, a bit of it at least naturally oh hang on Dave's glue 
glue the whole thing to the the mat don't put it on top of your cup of tea put it up there that'll fall off in a minute so if that comes back into shot it's because it fell off so um and then i wanted to do the lemon one on this because i just liked the i mean like the whole um pack is called oranges and lemons so i thought well you know and I knew I had a napkin with lemons on, although it wasn't the napkin that I had in my mind. The one I had in my mind looked completely different, but um, and doesn't exist. Yeah, but I asked Brian. I said, "Do we have a napkin that looks like this, but like it with lemons?" No. Um, so he says, "Well, you might have, but I, you haven't shared it with me." And we share all the napkins that we buy. You know, Brian will buy napkins, I buy napkins, and we share them. Um, but I don't have it. I, I, I've made it up in my head so which you do sometimes you know you've got these things in your mind's eye and it's nothing like the act it actually looks you've convinced yourself that, that you know it's there so but it happens so you know it happens I'm just going to tear this off here didn't do a very good job of that did I Cut that. didn't get that edge at all yeah, there we go. Just got that now. Put that there. Not going to worry about that one today. I normally keep my napkins, but like you know, I'm sorry, just chucked them in the bin. <laughs> so I might let's assemble this one first. Yeah, let's do that first. Let's assemble it. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to have it as a little pocket on a. Um, you shall have a little fishy on the little dish now um it's not a fishy it's a pocket dave so when the boat comes in um <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry honestly you need to be really grateful that you don't have to live with me because i do my own head in so um i'm I, people think i'm funny but like <laughs> it's not, not always intentional it just happens it's the way i am part and parcel of me shouldn't really apologize for being me i know but depends on how you feel about me doesn't it so well if you're watching me hopefully you you know you're kind of with me rather than against me now i had a scoring tool didn't i so, you know what you like what well, you know what it's like folks you have to watch out for these things for me you have to tell me where these things go because I put them down and I can't find them again. There we go. Let's glue that down. And I'm going to put the some of these on it. But I don't know how I want to put them. Right, okay, so they hang, don't they? Yeah, lemons tend to hang. They don't tend to grow up. Um, oh, grow up. So... <laughs> um, I think I'm going to put those there. Sorry? Yeah, they grow up to be limes. Oh, I love a lime. Oh, limes. I love limes. I love the flavour of a lime. I prefer it to lemon. I've just recently bought some lime jelly. Uh, not lime jelly. Jam. jam. Some lime jam. <gasps> no, it isn't even lime jam. It's lime marmalade. And I love it. And I, don't, I tell you now, I do not, I'm not a fan of marmalade. I just don't understand the whole concept of why people like marmalade but i am a convert to that oh and the blood orange one that i bought as well that was nice and when you now you're thinking hang on a minute you bought marmalades and you don't like them i bought them for brian so um because he likes them so he's a a marmalade fan um but i'm a jam fan i'd rather have jam um but like I say, I'm a convert. That's uh, it's, it's really nice. It's it tastes very limey, and I love lime pickle. And it's got that kind of like, and anybody that's ever had lime pickle will know what I mean. It's just it, it's got that kind of mwah, mwah, tang to it. And those people that don't know what I'm talking about really won't know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> so I'm going to put those on there. And I might put another lemon over the top, kind of another at a naughty, a naughty angle, a naughty, at a naughty angle. Yeah, 
a jaunty angle is what I meant, but like that really hasn't come out, has it? So <laughs> you're on your own. I really need to try the um, the collage medium for doing this. Um, so the matte, what's it called? Collage, distress collage medium. They do a vintage one, and they do a clear one and a crackle one. <gasps> Ooh. Crackle. <laughs> oh, crackle. So, I've now discovered what I'm having for tea because I did ask Brian, so because he's like sorting tea out tonight. So, um, we're having lasagna. Lasagna. So, I love lasagna. I love food to be fair, though. So, like, you know, I've probably said, oh, and I love this and I love that and I love the other, but like, that's because I love food. So, and I bet you can't tell with my pork sausage fingers. Look at them. You never play a piano with them. Well, you play all the keys at the same time with them. But, um, but you know, like I say, you know, until lockdown's over, I'm not worrying too much about it. Um, I'd like to lose a bit more weight, but, you know, it'll happen when it happens. And I, you know, I'm... I'm I can be very much in control of it when I'm when I'm focused and on on it. I am on it like a car bonnet. So put that on there. I mean, this might not look like anything when I finish, but you know, it might look like everything as well. So I might actually put some more layers on top of that. I'm going to put that up there. Um, move this and I was thinking I need let's make this first and then we can think afterwards make and think now I was thinking about having one of these pockets I think on here so let's fold it first really maybe sh let's try scoring it Dave this is a nice point on this I can see the point to this so at least Brian's here to you know, punctuate the jokes for me. So if it's a valley, it becomes a mountain. So that's fine. Sorry, I have to. Say, I say it out loud every time, don't I? But you know, so you score on the side that you want to see to be able to bend it over backwards. Because you're pushing it down, it becomes a valley. When you bend it over, it becomes a mountain. So uh, that's stuck in my head and I know I tell you every time but you know it's a good reminder if I have to think about it I'm sure you guys have to think as well so, a valley becomes a mountain so got a bit bit of napkin on the end of my thumb there thumb no that's not a thumb that's a finger Dave pop that on there Ooh, that's a bit of my cutting out kind of thing. I need to have cut into that a bit more. I did have some scissors. So, aha. Put that back as well, Dave. You'll lose that. And no, this smudge is true. Sorry. Doing it again. You just have to tell me to shut up, all right? So... Not you, Brian. Because he, he will tell me to shut up. Well, then I'll make you anyway. Yeah. So, folding that over there and that over there. So, oh, which way should I have that? I don't know. I quite like it like that. No, I'm going to do it like that. Yeah, that way. And no, oh, shut up. <laughs> we'll have to sing it again then. <laughs> Need to think of other things to sing. Well, no, perhaps I don't need to think of anything else to sing. So, if Leah's watching, I apologise, Leah. I know that Leah's not a fan of my singing. So, um, you know, to be fair, there aren't many people that are. So, and if you think I've got a, a great singing voice, then maybe now is the time to realise that you might be tone deaf. So. I think my vo I think I could sing if I somebody taught me to. I think I've got a voice that could be trained. 
Brian's not Brian's not quite as convinced as I am about that. So um, that's what friends are for. So um, I think so. I think I've got a voice that could be trained. I'm not saying necessarily saying trained to sing. It might be I might be able to tra be uh, train my voice to juggle. So. <laughs> <laughs> and this is life in my brain so I didn't I meant to ink that didn't I you, none of you told me where did I put it I put it away where did I put it I put it away good of you that's good Dave that's where you're supposed to put it oh well never mind it's not too bad anyway because like it's still it's yellow inside rather than being you know stark white which you can tell is like doesn't look old when it's like stark white does it so and I just think the yellow just to makes it look a bit more yellowed maybe maybe it was white and it's yellowed in over time so I'll pop that over there I'm gonna just fold that over so that when I put something on the front I might put a bird on this one to lend itself to having a bird on, maybe. Yes, let's put a bird on it. Oh dear, it's going to be a blue tit again, isn't it? I'll just use a blue tit in the last video, so. Um, should I put a blue tit on there? Or a bobbin? No, let's use a blue tit. Bob, bob, bobbin along. So. I think I that was near, I nearly started into the Christmas song. Really, it's in February. It's far too soon to have a Christmas song. Um, not that you'd recognise it as a song. Um, so, just peel that off. Take both layers off together. I think. Get that piece of cello tape away. Otherwise, that all go horribly wrong. There we go. What's the weather like outside, Brian? Cold, it's dry. cold and dry outside. There you go. It's like it's like having a weather forecast, isn't it? Being. I think I might have the bird there. I'm not going to bother about the nest. I'm just going to have the bird. And so, yeah, I know that I've told you before, and but just in case anybody new is watching, I always use a water brush to get my napkins out because it gives me that feathered edge. So you see that, see that edge there. You get a nice feathering on the on the ends. So the reason for that is when you stick this down, it will blend more into the background and it will be less noticeable that you've you've added something. Um, so hopefully when the others are dry you'll be able to see what I mean so um, but yeah I'm just going to paint this over again like the whole thing like I did last time you didn't tell me to get my glue book out either get your glue book out don't you to go over the whole thing now you can see it's beading on here and the reason for it beading is because it's on um laser jet printer rather than on a an inkjet printer or an inkjet printer it would like it soak in but a laser jet kind of gives it a coating so i think i'm going to put that like that there so just being gentle over the top of the bird so that i don't tear him her it them Whatever. Get it right, Dave. But the, the yeah, the, oh, you can't really tell, but like the, the feathered edge kind of just makes it blend in a little bit more. And don't worry about any bubbling or puckering. That'll that'll happen anyway. I might because there's a bit sticking out. I might just fold that round the side there. Put it on the back makes it look more like it was supposed to be there mm. 
There we go. So that's that. And then let's put the put a lid back on there. So this is the watered down Mod Podge. Um, I need to buy myself some more Mod Podge. I think. I think so. I think you filled it up last time. Sorry, Brian's just saying, is that the last of it? And I think Brian filled it, topped it up for me last time. So I think that's the the end of the Mod Podge. Yes, but uh, for Christmas I bought him a thirty-two ounce bottle um and that's an eight ounce bottle so you can tell how big that bottle was um let's have some water i don't know what that sounds like to you guys with this mic just next to me so <laughs> when i'm drinking but um hopefully it's not horrible <laughs> Sorry, just bending down to the floor to get get some an escape e. So, right, let's fold this one as well. Because so I was thinking about having this on the front of one of those others. So that's why I kind of cut it out. Sorry if I've got my my nose in camera. That side. I'm just I'm just scoring it because it just gives it a better line. I know I folded the other ones and the other ones I folded myself because I knew they'd got a line into them and I, they, that sometimes puckers. They, if you haven't glued the two pe pieces together very well, which I know I probably didn't, so I was trying to rush while I prepped for the vid for the next video. So, so I'm just going to fold this round. See how that scores it now that's just that gentle scoring and it's only pushing into a glass plate as well so there's no give but it's just nicely folded up round now so i did this one didn't i not quite dry let's see if we can dry it speed it up now i, I didn't go all the way round with this one maybe i should do that first just put the, my water just put my brush in the water which was Clever. Good thinking, Dave. Well, advanced thinking, Dave. I don't know how I go through so much of this. Do a lot of napkin work. I know, but like, I haven't done any napkin work for ages. Anyway, there we go. So I'm just going to maybe flip that round as well. That edge. So I was thinking this week, because I'm on holiday. Oh, what can I order from Amazon? Guess what I'm going to order from Amazon. <laughs> some Mod Podge. So I, I must have pulled the, some of that off when I was put it on the the glue thing. But like just going over the top of it, you're never going to see it. So Now when you go over this with an air dryer, or when it dries naturally, it will have... It will where the white bits are they kind of disappear and you can't really tell that they're there um, you'll see when it's dry well you'll be able to see better when it's dry um, the best way to dry something like this as well is to kind of hold it off the mat because then what you're doing is when you're drying and you're drying on a glass mat you've got nowhere for the moisture to go and that's when you get this like it gets very wet on the mat so if you hold it up the moisture is able to escape so it's a bit like if you were drying your washing you dry your washing by hanging it on a line or hanging it up you wouldn't dry it flat and if you did dry it flat you dry it flat over a you know a, a, a gauze or something like that rather than on a surface it just the water wouldn't get wouldn't be able to escape so it makes sense in my head so the problem it makes sense in my head but just holding it away and then you don't get that if you leave it down you'll end up with like everything going really gooey and wet so I'm just going to go over this try and get it as dry as we can 
oh it's really hot now don't, that's the other thing don't touch it afterwards <laughs> it's going to be really hot that's going to be hot in there as well isn't it dave yes it is so does that feel dry oh it does now so there we go so there's that on here i think i want i want kind of a an edge on there something just something on there maybe doesn't even have to be a full of full anything really i just want something an element of something maybe that so if we can separate this without using the sellotape i mean there's no harm using the sellotape at all so it's just a challenge just to see if I any good it's like trying to thread a needle can you do that without assistance without getting one of those needle threaders nope done it my eyesight isn't as bad as I thought it was well no comment put it that way <laughs> might might have just been fluke so, so maybe I have some of that. Mm. Where's that one? I like that one because you can definitely tell that that's growing outwards. Sidewards, I mean. So pop that there out like that. So I have that one. What else do I want? Hmm. Hmm, what what, what's on here? So, if I have that on there, do I want anything else with it? Do I have that flower? Yeah. So, you know, you might be using somebody else's digitals, okay, but you don't have to just leave them as they are. You can add elements to it yourself and napkins are the way that I add that element um, because for me it, all, it feels like it's actually was there and part and parcel of it so I'm going to stick that on there and I might put the flower on but we'll see we'll, we'll see if we've got any Mod Podge left <laughs> um, doing something with Mod Podge probably wasn't a good idea when without checking the stock levels was it so oh yeah I could use my collage medium yeah that's very true Brian that's what Brian came for today is just to prompt me and <laughs> he didn't that isn't the reason why he's here um, so just that's kind of folded over and I just want to catch that so it doesn't there we go Put that on there and no idea where that flower went oh it's here i think that is stuck to the back do i want the flower on the flower on or do i want it there you know something i might have it just there just poking over there we go Let's see if we can get those to dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, like tear those away or file them off. No, put your thing away, Dave. You don't want to dry the paintbrush. I'm not happy about that. It's kind of puckered up that side there. You guys probably can't see it, but I can. There you go, got rid of that. Don't do it again. So I'm gonna lift it up and see if you can see what I'm doing. So as it dries, the moisture will go out of it. And you're basically pushing it through a lot of it when you're force drying it. But you can see that the napkins disappear, disappears. You can still see, obviously, the napkin on the edge because 
I haven't done anything with it, but what I will do is I'll file that off. Um, and you can do that with your a napkin over the surface of something as well. So if you get, if you can t kind of feel where the napkin is, if you don't like that feel, you can go over it with a, obviously not too much because you'll just sand the whole thing off, but you can sand over it and just get rid of the ex any of the excess like texture. So I'm gonna get rid of that now and use an emery board. Now only ever get rid of the, the edges with a sandpaper or a file or what this is a just a, a nail file um if once it's dry because otherwise you'll just tear it all and you're just going to do that you know a bit like when you were making a pie and you go around the edges and you get rid of the excess it's a bit like that so you go around the edges with a knife don't go around the edges of this with a knife there you go that's come off Damn, but that might have to come off Yeah. There we go, that's off. Cool. Um I might just get rid of that edge as well. There's a bit there, there's a bit of dimension. Just get rid of that. By dimension I mean it's sticking at up. There we go. So we've got that on the on the other side. Cool. That's much better. I like the I like the texture of it now with the napkin on it as well. So and it's just you're still keeping that element of the things that you liked about your your digital, but now now you're kind of building on it. So you're making it your own. So don't just take a digital and say, right, okay. It's, I'm happy with it, it's done. Go uh, do something else to it, make it a bit different. Now you can now, where it's white, because you, you can still see, uh, if you can see here, any pockets of air bubbles or things, or you might get creases in it, they tend to stay white so they don't disappear into the background. The way to do that is only a small amount, you don't need loads of it, but just using one of your distress inks, just go over the top of it, and that'll kind of knock it back a bit and you'll not see it as much. I mean, like, you know, it's still going to be there, so you kind of just have to accept that it's going to be there, but it disappears a bit. So it's not as noticeable. So and there you go. So that's what it looks like now with the... Make sure that's all in focus. Um, With the the ink on it and again just on the just going to do that on here so I've turned that that was you know somebody else's digital yes I purchased it I'm oh, sorry I just touched my mic um yes I purchased it because I, I really liked it um but well I didn't purchase it, it was actually purchased it. it was actually given to me um because I really liked it but like now I've made it my own mm. And that's the same with these other ones. So this one, again, it's not quite dry, so let's dry it. Just making it so that the same, I'm going to do something with this tag as well. So I feel like the tag warrants something quite, I don't know, quite bold or mate. I might even put a rub on over that, so... So again, drying this off. Oh, you can't smell. I was going to say that funny smell that you can smell. But oh. <laughs> so far, we haven't made smelly vision. Um, but that, that funny smell that I can smell is the laser print. Um, the I think it's the toner coming off it. I don't. I hope it's not carcinogenic. But you know. Oh well. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm a realist at the end of the day things happen so there you go and that's the that's the bird one so i've made i've just made this again 
my own just done something different to it and and made it you know using the digital as the base so with this one what i was thinking is there's i've got these rub-ons which don't ask me who they're by or where they came from or whatever but because it's got text in the background i really liked the idea of having I don't, I'm, if i'm going to have it I'll, I'll have it at a jaunty angle paris maybe there or having see i the, because they're rub-ons they've like kind of bits of it have come off so but that's fine i'm i'm happy with it looking a little bit ropey right okay i'm going to do that bit there ropey disheveled. yeah disheveled that's what i meant that's what i mean by ropey so i don't know whether everybody would know what ropey means so do people know what ropey means so i'm going to use one of my bone folders to try and do this with because I, I never have much success with a rub on it never seems to rub on um, and that's why I'm doing it on this because um, I don't mind if it doesn't all come out. So because I tend to get very patchy results with the rub on. So maybe have it a bit more towards me. I think this is the first time I've ever used a rub on on one of my videos. Usually because it doesn't actually work. So. <laughs> But I'm willing to give this a try because we're, it's all about experimentation, isn't it? So, so that well, that bit seems to have come off. The can't get the rest of that T off it. Oh well. Like I say, it's going to look a bit patchy, but I don't think people use rub-ons like they used to. I, I I remember using rub-ons when I was a child for getting alphabets. We used to have alphabet rub-ons. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Brian remembers that. I don't know whether you guys do. Anybody used to remember that? I'm used to, I think I used to make my, do all my exercise books for work, for work, for school. Um, put my name on it in rub-on. In fact, actually, I think rub-ons, they got rubbed onto everything. If it, wasn't, if it didn't move, it had a rub-on on it. So... Either had a rub on on or it had that dymo tape, so um, which again is something else I've got as a adult crafter. You you do, don't you? All of these things that are kind of back in vogue. All those things we remember as a child. They're like you know the things that we like to use now because they're because <laughs> they're old. <laughs> I was going to say, because they're old, but yeah, Brian's right. It's retro rather than old. I think this is supposed to be tacky, really, and it kind of supposed to stick to the surface, but it does. It isn't. It's. I've had it for so long, it doesn't. I'm going to rub this onto here. Oh, I think it's working. Yeah, let's get those flowers on as well if we can. And like I say, if it doesn't all go on, I don't, I'm not really that worried. Oh, I like that. It'd be nice if it's straight. <laughs> but, but it is. <laughs> It, it is nice it is what it is so you know i'm a fan of it is what it is i am what i am and what i am needs no excuses that's it it's enough don't want it to rain in your part of the world with my singing my dulcet tones You're lucky I was able to sing without like it. It, what's that? Um, vibrato when like <laughs> when, no when you like oscillate your voice. Well, my oscillates because I'm wobbling, so 
Because <laughs> I'm robbing something. <laughs> I am what I am. There you go, that's my vibrato. <laughs> there you go. So I just put that over the top. Um, again, just making it my own. Just make, just doing something different. I think I'm going to keep it as a tag. So I will put a hole in it. It needs a hole. I am the hole and I live in the mole. Oh no. That's, that's not right, Dave. I think I've spilt some water down here. I have indeed. Something's leaking because I've got a wet sock. There's nothing worse than a wet sock. So <laughs> I hate that feeling. <laughs> I don't know. Wet pants when you're on a train. Well, yeah. Oh, what? Wet pants when you're on a train? How you got what? What have you done? What wet yourself? Oh, you wet yourself. <laughs> oh nice, <laughs> lovely. Too much information. Thanks for that, Brian. <laughs> or you've sat in some something where somebody else has wet themselves. Maybe that's even worse. <laughs> yes, somebody else has wet themselves. Juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave it there. Leave it there. Right, I'm gonna try to use that. I quite quite like that bit. That's using up a bit of lace that I've got, so I wouldn't use it in any other way. So um I could do with it being um, I'm gonna look for a I'm gonna look for a needle I could sew it with, but that if you can see that, that's that's the needle I've just reached for it's definitely in for sewing around corners that one i think so um yeah i'm just gonna sew the end of it but oh, hang on what's this one i just can't get them out of the i've stuck them in blue tack and i can't get them out of the blue well it's not blue tack i just use white tack prit tack i think it is all the brand names today is that oh that'll do so I'm I'm no good at sewing, so don't look at my technique. Which you are you're all gonna judge me on technique now, so but you know, you've gotta make it look rustic and trust me I can do that without trying. <laughs> so it's that naive sewing. Well, it's the sewer that's naive, so yeah, that's really bad. You don't want me darning your socks, trust me. And there's no point me quick sewing it. <laughs> what is that? I mean, I, I need to bring this up. I have this thing that, well, me and Brian have this thing that um, there's this whole thing that people call it slow stitching. If you're going to use your, if you're going to hand stitch, they call it slow stitching. Well, it's got a name. It doesn't need another name. So it's called hand stitching so why has it suddenly become slow stitching so um because if you use a sewing machine what's that called fast stitching so that, oh, well that's what i joke about when i say fast stitching i don't actually mean fast stitching i mean sewing machine stitching but um it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek so if you ever hear me say it you'll know what i mean by it with it's that in joke so you're in on the in joke now folks so Yeah, so seriously, you do not want me doing any sewing for you, as you can tell. But, you know, so I'm going to do that. And then I thought on this one, um, so I'd got some of, um, this is some of the, the tulip one, I think it actually is, but it's some of the the paper and all I've done is I've punched it out with a circle and then I've just lined it with um, a sharpie just black sharpie and then I'm going to stick it to this and this is just a test print so you get little stripy lines of a test print um, and it was printed onto a coffee dyed paper because I did a test print and forgot the coffee dyed paper was in there to be fair that's why and I just thought you know I'm a fan of using things up so what I thought I would do is I would make one of so Tracy Fox. So all the names are in this video today. Tracy Fox does um, 
something with the with I'll show you in a minute. I was going to say with these brads, but I can't I can't lift those up with my third hand because I don't have one yet. So maybe maybe as I evolve, I'll have grown a third hand, or maybe not. So, so the reason why I turned it around is it's got yellow over here and that's yellow over there, and I I just thought it, we wouldn't see it as much, wouldn't stand out quite so well. So I'm just going to put that on there and just glue it down glue it down rub it down um and this this was actually cut out with a die so it's just a set of nesting dies they're actually brian's um and i just used my sidekick to do it so my tim holt sidekick another net brand name name dropping um <laughs> so and yeah so these are the things so this i'll get this box into view so tracy fox does a thing where she uses these um, and they are called paper binders okay, so they come with a let's open this up Dave it's like I'm it's not for drama I haven't just like slowed down for drama it's the fact that I can't get the bag open so what you do is you would normally put them th these through a hole and put the two pieces together and you bind the paper together well, these paper binders, I watched something and I ended up having to buy some. So thanks, Tracy Fox, for making me spend my hard-earned money on... T there's 200 in that box, so um, I'll have plenty to make. And and she makes a very something very similar where she just... She has a few more layers and she makes them a bit more rigid and she sticks some, like, um, butterflies and things on. Well, I'm just going for the... The easy option and I'm just going to stick that on there and then you're making your own kind of brads so rather than having to buy your own brads so it's my take on a Tracy Fox so I hope she doesn't mind um, she doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would mind if uh, if you do well she kind of likes to share what she what she's doing so um, so I'm just glue that on there and it's got like a it's it's got like a dim a dimple it's got like a, it sinks down in the middle so i don't know, can you see it kind of like it's got a dimple i don't know whether you actually could see that because i just i'll show you one in a minute without the glue on so i'm going to stick that on there and just try and get it somewhere in the middle glue it down and I believe she uses glossy accents on hers to glue it down, but I have every faith in three and one will do the job because it does every other job. So the three and one glue I think will work, and of course you could glossy accent the the top of that, but maybe I might have it there. Yeah. So let's make a hole. That's a very small hole. Squeaky. <laughs> that's Brian squeaking off camera it's not him making the squeaky noise by the way it's him rubbing the piece of paper shiny paper. it's shiny paper that's what it is so I'm just going to make a hole here <sighs> what I would have could actually see in the hole pokey tool yeah that's well and truly gummed up that hole with bits of things bits of stuff and everything sorry folks perhaps all, kinds all kinds of oh don't start me with that <laughs> all kinds of okay <laughs> all kinds of everything don't get that in oh you don't want me singing that that's definitely not in my key so, <laughs> so i'm just making a hole there and i'm going to push that brad through there and just flatten it out the back so it's just like one of those um brads that you get <laughs> paper fastener style brads but because it's got that that dimple it stands out so i really like that i like the way that that looks i mean i might gloss it might put some glossy accents over the top of it just to make it kind of stick out a bit and i think on the back i mean like you know you've got to now put something on the back but i might put one of shabby dabby doodars on or or maybe even that might put that over the back 
um, just to kind of let's just flatten that down with whatever I can find to hand that isn't going to slice my hand off. There you go. So I might just stick that over the top. Um, there's an extra bit there that we don't want it to stick out too much. Be careful if you're cutting metal. And be careful if you're pushing metal down, he says. <laughs> cutting his finger off. No, he didn't cut his finger off. You're all right. Cut that bit off as well. Just be careful where you, those bits go. Just out, because you'll find them like that. <laughs> I do it so you don't have to. So, um, maybe if I turn that round a bit. It's, how's it got a flower? Oh dear, that. You know, I said I've got every faith in three and one. Um, <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> no, it didn't. Maybe Tracy Fox is right. Maybe. Let's try again. Let's put a bit more on. Let's turn this, this thing round while I'm doing it. You know, it's good that I make these mistakes because then you don't have to. I'm going to turn that round like that. That's better. Put that on there. And if it doesn't glue down, I will use some glossy accents on it. Or, you know, you could use, like, jewellery glue if you use that. Um, I don't make jewellery, so I don't don't have any. I know that Brian used to make jewellery, so he might have some of that. So. He does. There you go, you see. I knew he would. So I'm going to put this on the back. So I've never... I don't know what it is. It's usually called jewellery cement, isn't it? So, yeah. So, is it is it liquid or is it like a paste? No, it's very liquid. It's like. Is it like super glue? Runny. Right, runny. Right, runny. Right, runny. Okay. So anyway, I'm just sticking that over the back just to kind of cover up that sharp bit of the of the metal, and I think on the back of here, I'm going to do some napkin. But let's just see, we might have this on the front. Spite, no, it might be a bit much, that. Create, no, it might be a bit much. Could have that as a pocket. Have that go in there. And then could put one of them on the front. No. Mm, don't know, not sure about that. I like that, quite like it as it is. Oh, you know what I might put on there that might make it stand out? I might put one of my um, Tim Holtz dolls, paper dolls on there. That might be good. Um, so yeah, these these ones here, these these are by Shabby Dabby Dude are these ones. And then these ones are part of the kit. Um, the, some some of the ones, these were off the, the, the lemon and lime one. The lemon... Sorry, the orange and lemons one of um, Janie B journals, and this is from Janie B journals as well. But this is off the tulip one. But these are shabby dabby doodah. Just so I'm just I just don't want you to be confused and think that you're getting something that you're not get, getting. I like to be as transparent as possible. So, um, so on here I wanted a bit of napkin. I think. Yeah, let's go for something maybe a bit more. Don't know how long we've been going for, folks. Oh, an hour and four minutes. So, right, I'm going to make this the last bit. So, I might have... Might have what I've already got, maybe. What have I got here? I've got some with a flower on it. Oh, it's there. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. So I might have that on there. Yeah, I'm going to have that on there. So now we're all in a complete mess, aren't we? So I was going to use that, but I might use it on something else now. Put 
focus on here. All kinds of everything. Sorry. <laughs> it's stuck. Now, it's stuck. Yes. <laughs> Which also then that's that same tune now also makes me think of Love is like a butterfly, and soft and gentle as a sigh. The multicoloured moons of love are like its satin wings. Yep. Anybody that remembers um butterflies so, which was uh, if you if you're not in the uk you might not remember butterflies so um it was wendy craig was in it it was a i think it was supposed to be a comedy but it was not always that funny it was, sometimes it was a bit a bit real a bit bleak sad comedy. bleak yeah a dark comedy it was on in the 70s so was it the seventies or the eighties? When we were ickle. When we yeah, when we were ickle. Me and Brian are the same. Well, not the same age. He's eight years older. Uh, eight years. Eight. <laughs> he's eight Ooh. months older than me. <laughs> Be very careful. <laughs> it's eight. <laughs> the Fro Freudian slip there. Um, <laughs> he's eight months older than me. So, and I don't let him forget it. So. <laughs> Both born in 1969, so we had a very similar, you know, ex well, we remember all the same things really, so we liked the same kind of music. Uh, sorry, what was that? You were just posher than me. Uh, apparently, I was just posher, apparently. Apparently, I'm posh. So, so it told you he could think I'm posh. <laughs> With friends like him, who needs enemies? So. <laughs> so I'm just going to dry this off. Oh, we did do another thing. Oh, yeah, that's the. I don't. I, I don't think I like that lemon and lime one, the orange and lemon one. I don't think I like the blue of it. I'll show you that in a minute. Might have to tidy some of this away while I'm. I'm drying this off because it's getting a bit messy around here, isn't it, really? So let's just have a bit of a tidy up while I'm drying. Or, well, if I don't, if I keep, don't keep moving it, it's going to, it'll just catch fire. So, <laughs> that could be interesting. Well, I have had fire when I was doing. What was I doing? Oh, I was doing the um, my seals. Ar, ar, ar. Not then. Um, the, <laughs> the, the different seal. I wasn't doing that seal. Balancing a ball on my nose. Um, I was doing the, the wax seals. So what was that? Sometimes. Sometimes he despairs. Apparently, but like uh, only sometimes. I, I do it all the time. <laughs> And so, yeah, so like, there you go, because like, this is what I'm saying, you get like this white hue around it. Um, and if you just use a bit of Distress ink on it, on a brush, just go over the top of it. You can kind of knock that back and it doesn't, it's not as noticeable. Just have a bit around the, the edges as well. Over the top of that, round there. There we go. So that just kind of knocks it back. You can see that. So you don't see the white on it so much. So there we go. We've made, again, we've taken something that's part of a digital kit. And this is what I really want you to think about is don't just see a digital as being, that's it. That's all I can have. Make that digital your own. So do something else with it. You know, tear it up and make a um, a stamp like I made in the last video. So that was the stamp that I made in the last video. So tear it up and make a stamp or um, go over the top of it and make, you know, add some additional elements to it. So this is what we've made in this last 
just over an hour, which I can't believe that time has gone. And remember, these are from Janie B journals from Etsy. And I'll put a link in the description. Um, these are from Shabby Dabby Doodah. So I used one of those here. Um, and the uh, technique um, that I didn't really steal because like I'm, I did a credit to it um, making these these things out of these brads Janet Brad sorry Brad Janet Brad right that's got that's happening now in my head so these making these out of those that like the way that they're just can you see that they're just three-dimensional so making those and that that's a Tracy Fox thing so um, I've been all around the globe of different things and there's so much I wanted to make and yet you know we've had a we've had more than an hour again so thank you very much for watching um, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've kind of inspired you to not just see digitals as being that's all I can do with it take the digital and step the game up and make it your own and do something different with it you know you were inspired by the digital kit and then what we tend to do is we have these digitals and we don't do anything with it so get them out and have a play and don't just use them as the dimension that they came in make turn them into something different turn them into something new turn it into love okay <laughs> so whatever <laughs> all of that there's now another song going through my head um so anyway thanks very much for watching me I hope you all have a lovely afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever time it is with you. My name's Dasher Dave, also known as Crafty Moose. Um, I will see you all again very soon. Remember, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. You take care of yourself, folks. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big crafty hugs. Oh, look, not the camera as well. Um, Overexcited hugging. So I will see you all very soon. You take care, folks. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.